In this video, we will learn how to install the current Eclipse version on Windows 10. For Eclipse, now you don't need Java. Okay. So, we will directly install Eclipse. After installing, we will also run a sample program. So, let us start. At first, go to the web browser. On Google, type Eclipse and press enter. The official website is visible. Click on it. Here it is eclipse.org. Click the download button. Go below. Now the download button is visible. Click on it. Here it's written download x86 64. So we will download the same version for Windows operating system. I clicked on it. Now the download button is visible again. So the following file will download that is the exe installer. Click the download button. The download started. Let's wait. We have downloaded the exe file. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. Here different versions are visible for Eclipse. We want for Java. So I'll click on Eclipse ID for Java developers. On clicking now you can see it will directly show you Java versions. We will go for the following 23.0.2. So we did not install any Java version, right? The current Eclipse version automatically supports this version of Java. Eclipse will get installed in the following location. It will create a start menu as well as a desktop shortcut. Click install. Accept the license agreement. Click accept now. Now the installation started. Let's wait. We have successfully installed Eclipse. Here the desktop shortcut is also visible. We will click launch. Now Eclipse will launch for the first time. Here you need to set the workspace. Workspace is a place where all your projects, files, folders and resources will get saved. I will keep it as it is and I will also set it as a Default. Click launch. Eclipse opened for the first time. Okay, now let us run our first program. Go to file. Click new. Here you can directly click Java project. Let us name the project. I'll name it Amit application. You can add any name. Here the location of the project is visible. I told you all the projects gets saved in the workspace location. So this was the location and here is the location of the project. It automatically took the environment it supports that is Java 23 right now. Go below. I unselected this. It's not required now. Click next. Now click finish. Here is our project. Now let us add a new class file. Right click on the project. Click new. Click class. Now add the name of your Java file under the project. So I'll set it demo. It will automatically add a .java extension. Add the package name. Let's say I'll add com.studyopedia. I'll uncheck this and select Publish Static Void Main Basic, a basic program. Click Finish. Now you can see our demo.java file is here. It is inside the com.studyopedia package because we have set it before. Here it is. 
package name. The class name is equal to the file name that is demo. If you won't keep the name same, then there will be an error. Okay, now let us print something. I'll print my name, let's say. So to print in Java, use the system.out.println and whatever I'll add inside this will get printed. So I printed my name, semicolon, that's it. Go to file, click save all, right click, click run as and after that click Java application. Now you can see we printed Amit Divan. That is whatever we will add inside this will get printed. In this way, we ran our first Java program on Eclipse. If you want to understand this program and also want a free Java tutorial, refer to the links in the description of the video.